Shalom and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew Podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew Podcast. Today I would like to speak to you about the words Baal and Asherah, Baal and Asherah, not just as biblical, historical terms that describe foreign worship or idolatry, but how those components are working inside of us from time to time or sometimes all the times, but it's important to detect those elements inside of us, to learn from them and to proceed in our growth. The words Baal in Asherah, Baal means husband. In modern Hebrew, we say husband Baal, but Baal, it means also an owner. When we say or when we ask me Baal Habayit, who is the owner of this house, who is in charge, in other words. The word Baal is composed of two words. Ba came, al on top, came on top, who is in charge, who is commanding. Now, what is this coupleship, Baal and Asherah, and how do we detect it? What is Asherah? Asherah comes from Ishur, confirmation. So Baal and Asherah is a moment when our little self, the childish one called Asherah or confirmation issue is trying to get a confirmation from another source which is out of his sovereignty. For instance, a person wants to make a step in his life and he wants to go to learn something, he wants to go to publish something, to do something, and he looks for a confirmation from his surroundings, his parents, if he's a juvenile, or even later, he looks and search for a confirmation or approval from his boss, from his friends, from his spouse, from his children, and so on. When a person looks for a confirmation, external confirmation about his life from another one beyond or outside of himself, he is in a way behaving like Asherah, Asherah, the subordinate element of Baal, because Baal is a husband or the one who's in charge. So when we look all the time for external confirmation for what we do or the way we should head or would like to head, we're looking for Baal. We're looking for a person who is in command or in charge to give us approval to what we want, to what we do. In this kind of thinking or behaving, we are creating a subordinate relationship to our lives. We give a permission to an external body to approve our existence. This is a form of relationships that we have with the world which is under the category of idolatry because we give any other person outside of our lives, parents, managers, bosses, children, spouses, husbands, neighbors, advisor, coaches, an ability to control our lives and any other agency except of our inner agency is in the authority of the many, many parents, many bosses, many teachers, many friends, advisors, neighbors, and so on. The list is long. This kind of relationship inside of us is called Baal Vashira. When the subordinate, miserable child 
in us is called Ashera from Ishu, from confirmation. We are looking for confirmation outside of ourselves. When any other component outside of ourselves is considered to be Baal, the owner or the man in charge or the lord of the house, so to speak. And those kinds of relations that we have inside of ourselves, the way we perceive the world in this frame will bring destruction. An opposite picture and more healthier is the relationship of Asher and Ashera. Please pay attention. Asher and Ashera. Those are similar letters. Asher, Aleph, Shin, Resh, and Ashera. Aleph, Shin, Resh, He. This is a healthy relation to life. When Asher, Asher is also the letters of Osher, Osher, happiness, and Ashera is his companionship. Happiness in the letter He, in the heavenly kingdom, in our actions, in our being here in time and space. Again, Asher and Asherah. Asher was the eighth son of Jacob and Upon him, Jacob says in Genesis 49, Me'asher shamna lachmo. Asher, his bread is dipped in oil. Shamna is oil or dipped in oil, but also contains the letter of Shmone 8. And the eighth sphere is Bina. Whenever we hear the word Asher, Asher, we find the sphere of Bina beyond time and space, the upper triangle. Because Bina is part of the three upper spheres, Keter, Chochma, and Bina, crown, wisdom, and understanding, which is beyond time and space. So, in other words, when we consult Asher in us, Asher is the eighth son of Jacob, when we consult the Bina, the inner understanding in us, the natural companionship is Asherah, which is happiness here. The relationships inside of us between Asher and Asherah is a relationship of friendship, of conversation. Asher is not above Asherah, like Baal in Ashera. Asher has a face-to-face -face relation with Ashera in us. What is face-to-face, -face? not external plastic face against face or parallel face-to-face -face or mirroring face-to-face, -face, but inner. Panim el panim. It means inner to inner. The inner sovereign inside of ourselves, which is called Asher, converses and turns his inner to the inner branch of our lives, which is moving in time and space. And when there's inner turning between Asher and the inner branch in space and time, which is Asherah, we have harmonious relations in oneself. Another thought that came into me while editing the podcast, Asher, is written in three letters, Aleph, Shin, Resh, when Aleph is the source, and Shin, Resh is like Sar, minister, or sovereign, or Shar, the one who sings, poet. So what is Asher in us? The one who sings, the one who writes songs, the poet, the minister, that gets his sovereignty from the one source, the infinite source, and brings this abundance to space and time, when space and time is named by Asherah. Asherah. When Asherah is, is written with He, the vessel that receives all the abundance from the upper source, from Asher. When we have these relationships inside of ourselves, we are happy and content, and we live infinite lives and with this infinite blessing of infinite lives i would like to wish each and every one of you shana tova thank you for listening to bible stories as blueprints of the soul 
your Biblical Hebrew podcast. For more information, articles, videos, and interactive classes, please visit hebrew.learnoutlive.com or join our YouTube channel. Shalom v'cholto. Thank mm-hmm. you.